Hey there, I thought I'd make a little video today about how I took my Raspberry Pi and made it control my Christmas lights. So running through Fry's, a local electronics store here in Southern California, Northern California, other places, they had Raspberry Pis were on sale about $45. Um, I have a case, you'll need a wireless adapter, I have a keyboard adapter in here. Um, and you load it with the uh, Raspbian load of Linux. Uh, this is actually a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. And load it up with the software, get it all ready. That is kind of the easy part. The hard part is getting wire, getting some helping hands, getting voltmeter, getting a, maybe you don't need a military grade soldering iron. I just happen to have one handy. Um, and creating a board kind of like this. So it looks kind of like a mess, but it actually works. So the hardware wiring, um, I split this into two sides. So I have power to this block power to the other power block. And this is my red wires. So I took, even though it's AC, it's still, we're gonna switch one side on and off with the relay. So we bring the red wires over here, wire them down. And then on the other side, I brought this and called it a black wire and wired it across. You can see there's small loops here going across. And these are wired and hooked into some extension cords. So these are going to be what I plug my Christmas lights into. This one is number two. I have them all numbered. Number four, there's one through eight. Okay, so many people I've seen use a relay board that uses the GPIO pins that are here on the Raspberry Pi. Well, that's okay if you want one relay and future moves future on this is to be able to have many relays. So I went with a USB solution. I found this relay board from Sane Smart USB eight channel relay board on Amazon is about 29 bucks. So that allows me to plug this into the Raspberry Pi. So let me get it hooked up here and we'll show you some commands and what happens. I have the Raspberry Pi set up here with a little USB drive that has all of my programs and songs and everything that I'm going to use. Um, there's a wireless adapter. It's just a little TP-Link 150 meg nano wireless adapter. Um, so everything's powered up here. We have the USB relay plugged in, has active data on this side because the blue light is there. We know we have power from our little power supply because that is there. So now there's a application that's on the Raspberry Pi that comes, this relay system has an FTDI chipset on it. So we can load the Python library, PyLib FTDI library, which gets us some sample functions and gets us access to how the board works. Uh, now, one of the examples is just a little bit controllers, just able to throw bits at it and to be able to flip switches on and off. So here I'm going to turn switch one on. So now we have this relay on here. So the little blue light comes on, click it again, blue light goes off. You can go to number two. Okay, so now the second relay is on. You can see here on this display that it's showing green that we're doing two. Now the relay is set up such that the first relay is ID is one, and then two, and then four, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. So you can give it any number like, so this is 128, which is the last one. 64 is the next one over. So if I send it, 192, I get both of those on. If 
if I send it 129, I get 1 and 8 on. So it's acting like it's it's 8 bits. Whatever you're sending it, it's going to turn that, that on. Um, and from seeing that, then I was able to program and find out how to, you know, okay, I need to get the numbers and, and how to get this thing programmed. I want to be able to turn this on with the song, and how do I do that? Well, I found a program that's made for huge displays called, called Vixen. Now, Vixen, it just allows you to do these sequences. Let me open a sequence here. Okay, so the screen doesn't look much on here, but what I've done is created eight channels in this sequencing program, and I've numbered them 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So I can take and drop these little blocks into the program, and it's a custom value. This program allows you to put in whatever value you want. So the values of those IDs are the numbers of the relays that I want to turn on. Okay, so this program doesn't actually interface or do anything <laughs> with the Raspberry Pi. It just allows me to take the sequence and export it as a CSV file. Okay, so if I open up one of these CSV files, let me come down here, go to Vixen, export directory, and open a CSV file. So if I can make the font bigger, view, zoom in. Okay. So do another view, zoom. In. Okay. So here, if you can see on the screen that um, all of the, there's it's zeros comma out. So there's zeros, zeros, zeros. And now here you can see it's starting to change. Okay, so here's the four and here's the eight. So you can see data is changing. Then we're back here, there's a one that's on. So when I export it, it actually sends out, there's a two, there's a four, it sends out that data. So the timing that is used here in this program, because there's like thousands of lines in this exported file. So it's taking every half second and sending it a command, and those are what's listed in this exported CSV file. So I take that, put it onto the Raspberry Pi, close my bit thing, and then I'll do a a pseudo Python and do show dash test. Okay, so this is a show test. Okay, so now it's going to load a song and load one of those things, and you can see now all of these are going in a sequence that if you can hear the music, if the music were playing, I could plug in some speakers, but that it's now flipping these with the music. Later on, I'll show you when it, it's all up on the house that it's, that it's all running. But the hard part is getting, is knowing what the strength and power of the Raspberry Pi is and how long the delay between sending each command matches the end of the song. So that I had to play with a little bit. So if I go to my, this is my controller program here. Let's close that, close out the Vixen thing. Okay. So, controller program. Okay, so I do some things here, like I need time, I need to be able to import the CSV style, the type, and I have date and time, I have the mixer, so I can play the sound. Uh, then I have the PyLib FTDI, which gets me this set as the BitBang device so that I can go and send commands to it. Um, I do some other things like set up email so that when things happen, I can send myself an email that a song was triggered or a chime was trigger triggered. Um, 
So down here, I'll get to the play song. So when I come down to the play song area, so I have it send a command and this command for lights shows that what I'm doing here is I'm adding all of the numbers in the CSV file up to get me what I have like before when I was showing clicking the buttons on enough that I take 128 and add it to one and that gets those two devices on. Well, which is what I'm doing here. So then the that Vixen application sent out the numbers in the CSV file. Now I'm adding them up and sending that command, my relay port command, to the device and then it flips on the appropriate lights. Then I wait for four hundredths of a second and then go to the next line from the CSV file. And then as it was playing earlier, we'll play that, start that again. It'll start flipping the switches around with the song that's playing that I've done matched up in the Vixen software. So the Vixen software just happened to be something that I found that made it so that I could manipulate it using the custom value to output those things. So there it is. Um, now I need to go plug it back in and I'll record a song and you can see what it actually does. That's my Raspberry Pi controlling my Christmas lights. Uh, next year, maybe another relay board. I want to get some bells that kind of swing back and forth that chime, because um, right now the system chimes every 15 minutes, and on the hour it chimes however many that hour is. So um, other maybe animatronic things going to build in next year. Uh, but for now, the program code, um, all the information that I have about the products is all going to be linked to this video. So enjoy and make your own and share.